right, it's time to check out Raiden. No, not Raiden. Raiden. Raiden is a character from the Mortal Kombat series. Raiden is a shoot 'em up. Now, Raiden was developed by Saibu Kahatsu Incorporated and published by Fabtech. Tecmo also published this game, but that was for Japan only. A handful of other publishers also were involved with releasing the game in Taiwan, Korea, and Malaysia. It was originally released in 1990 in the arcade and has been ported to the MS DOS operating system, Sega Genesis, Atari Jaguar, Atari Lynx, Super Nintendo, TurboGrafx 16, TurboGrafx CD, and the FM Towns. It has been said it was also released on the Amiga, but it was never released. In this review, I'm going to review the arcade version, and then I'm going to check out the Super Nintendo port. The Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis ports are known as Raiden Trap. So Raiden is a shoot 'em up and the first game of the series. The first time I ever seen this game was back in the late 90s at an arcade in the mall. It was right next to Street Fighter 2 in Daytona, USA. I played it for a little bit, but I wasn't very good at it. Matter of fact, I was actually quite horrible. But then again, this is a shoot 'em up, and you know how these games can be. Sometimes they are just absolute hell. Sometimes they're called bullet hell shooters. And there's nothing wrong with these type of games. The story behind Raiden goes like this. In the year 2090, Earth has become a target of aliens known as Cranassians. Following an invasion, the World Alliance military builds a new cutting-edge weapon known as the Raiden Supersonic Attack Fighter. Holy shit, doesn't that sound like a badass name? Supersonic Attack Fighter? I mean, think about that for a moment. Supersonic Attack Fighter! It's gonna kick some ass! It's ready to kick some cranberry assians Or the Kardashians! Or the Karassians. And then it's gonna save the world and bang sluts. This is humanity's hope for survival. If you can't save the world, well, you and Earth are fucked. Raiden has eight vertical scrolling missions where you maneuver the Raiden attack fighter, dodging and destroying enemy robots and taking down buildings, ground targets, and other aircrafts. You will get bombs and missiles as power-ups as well as collectible medals, which will add to your score. When you die, the attack fighter's fragments become projectiles that can damage enemies. At the end of each level, you will fight a boss, or sometimes more than one boss, and these are larger bosses, so you must time your hits just right and kick their ass, because... Fuck yeah, let's take them sons of bitches down! Get all excited here. Where's the sluts? The graphics for Raiden are really well done, especially for its time. The game is in a top-down view, and as you can see, it's a vertical shooter. The game runs very smooth and doesn't glitch or slow down. Not only that, the level designs are great. The variety of enemies and bosses are awesome and well designed. The game is very colorful, too. Not off-the-wall colors, but more along the lines of fitting the theme of the game and each level, and that's always nice. The music and sound effects are very well done. The music is a nice 16-bit soundtrack that reminds me of something you'd hear on the Sega Genesis. It's a bit of a rocking soundtrack. I mean, it fits this game perfectly. Blasting bad guys away while listening to a kick-ass soundtrack, it makes perfect sense. It makes you feel good. It makes you feel good in your mind and in your pecker. The sound effects from shooting, explosions, and everything is damn good. Nothing mind-blowing, but no complaints at all. Well, actually, I have one complaint. When you die, and you're on the screen putting in your high score and all of that shit, the music reminds me of that song from Journey, Faithfully. Which also reminds me of a Lechman stage from Mega Man. Now, I hate Journey, and it's very rare you will see anything that has to do with him on this channel. Hell, doing that final HMG tries it, I almost wanted to vomit blood because I had to use that song. Fuck Journey. Actually, that possibility of vomiting blood could have been the energy drink. Or the McDonald's from the day before. Raiden is a tough game. Not impossible like a lot of these shoot 'em ups can be, especially the ones that are really heavy on the bullet hell style. The farthest I've gone in this game is to the final level, and it took me many tries to get there, but I still made it. Obviously, playing this game on MAME, you're allowed to play as long as you want and use as many credits as you want. But can you imagine beating this game in the arcade? Either you would have to be very good at shoot 'em ups, or you're spending a shitload of money just to get to the end. The controls are very good, especially using a PlayStation 3 controller. Moving around is easy, shooting your weapon is very easy. Dropping bombs on these mugs is easy. One thing I have noticed, you can't just hold the button down to shoot. You have to keep pushing. That might make your fingers tired, but hell, it's not that much of an issue to me. The controls are very responsive, especially moving around. If you get hit by something, 99% of the time it's probably your own fault. Raiden is a damn good shoot 'em up and a damn good start to the series. The gameplay is a blast, and of course it is tough. The graphics are damn good, and I think it looks good to this day. The music is badass, the sound effects are good, and the controls are nice. Very few flaws in this game. I do wish the game had a few more levels and power ups, but these are very small flaws. Definitely check this game out if you love this style of shoot 'em ups. 
All right, it's time to talk about the Super Nintendo version of this game, which was developed by Saibu Kahatsu, but I've also read that it has been developed by Micronix and published by Electro Brain Corps. It was released in 1992, and like I said earlier in this review, this port is known as Raiden Trad. The Japanese version of this game was released in 1991, so for those of you that know the Super Famicom version, it was released many months earlier before the North America release. Raiden Trad is pretty much the same game, other than a few differences that cater to home consoles and even options to make the game easier, which if you want, you can dumb this game down a bit in the options menu. There's also rapid fire so you can hold down the button rather than having to tap real quickly. So now I'm just going to focus on the graphics, music and sound effects, the difficulty and of course the controls. The graphics look pretty damn good for the Super Nintendo. Now granted it's not as fancy as the arcade version. There's a little bit of limitations here, but I like the way the game looks. I also notice the colors are slightly darker, which isn't a bad thing either. The game does seem to slow down when a lot of shit is happening on screen. Just enough to where I notice it, but I can't really complain too much. Personally I still think the game looks great. The music Music is great, but not as good as the arcade version. It's well composed, but I feel it's lacking here and there. The sound effects are good from the explosion, shooting, and so on. Now the difficulty this time around is not as tough as the arcade version, unless you are playing this on the hardest difficulty. Like I mentioned earlier, you can change the difficulty, which is cool for those of you that don't want to get your asses stomped into the ground by a tough shoot 'em up. As for the game itself, on normal, it's fun. Matter of fact, it's a blast, and that's no pun intended. I did a lot better in this port than playing the arcade version. I died less amount of times and so on. The controls this time around are very simple and easy, and they are quite responsive as well. Moving around is easy, dropping bombs is easy, and shooting is very simple. Really can't think of anyone that would have an issue with this game other than they'd possibly get hit by bullets here and there because they're not very good at this type of game, but I think the controls are perfect. Raiden Trad is fun. It's a great home console port, a little bit dumbed down compared to the arcade version, but I think limitations play a big factor here. The gameplay is fun, the graphics are good, the music and sound effects are great, the difficulty is nice, and it gives you a choice, and of course, the controls are good. A few small flaws here and there, but a great port. I really enjoy it. Raiden Trad is 51% rare, so if you want to pick it up, you might find it at a local game store. If not, it is on eBay, and the prices are $19.49, $49.99 for a complete in box. $150 bullshit dollars for a sealed copy. $19.95, $25.97, $53.99. Quite an expensive game for the most part, but if you want to get it, $20 to $25 bucks isn't too bad. Or play the arcade version on MAME. Sadly, you can't find any arcade cabinets on eBay, but MAME is the best way to go. Besides, you could always build your own MAME cabinet. The Raiden series has quite a few games in it, including some spin-offs. The main series is Raiden 2, Raiden DX, Raiden 3, Raiden 4, Raiden 5, and then the spin-off series Viper Phase 1, Raiden Fighters, Raiden Fighters 2, Raiden Fighters Jet, and two compilations, The Raiden Project and Raiden Fighters Ace. At a later time, I will review these games in the Raiden series. With Raiden 5 being the newest one, and released in 2016, the hope for this series to continue on is there, and it seems like a lot of people are still enjoying Shoot'em Up. I hope you enjoyed this review of Raiden. Thanks for watching.